so hello everyone how are you doing so in this video i will be explaining the problem to sum input array is sorted so this is a slight variation of the original to sum problem and this is also quite easy i'm assuming that you have already read this problem so we will straight dive into the problem and so first i will be explaining you the approach via the whiteboard how to solve this uh, and then we will be coding it so uh, and do like this video and subscribe the channel uh, if you like the video so if condition is attached now let's get into the problem so the problem is saying that you have to return two indexes uh, when the sum is uh, give is equal to target pretty uh, which is exactly equal to the previous problem but the thing is that you don't have to use extra space earlier we were using a map in the original to some problem so how we will solve we will solve this so we will use the fact that this is sorted and then we will build our approach so uh, let's assume that this uh, this example so here uh, the sum the target is 8 uh, let me choose the pencil and reduce the thickness okay so here the target is 8 so it will be clearly a sum of 3 and 5 okay so we have to find two numbers x plus y is equal to 8 okay so the approach is going to be that these two numbers x and y are always going to be uh, say smaller than or equal to 8 okay so what i will do is that i will uh, and the sum so this x plus y can be two things it can either be uh, let's say it s it can be greater than 8 it can be less than 8 or it can be equal to 8 which this is our uh, uh, our case uh, result case so what i will do is that i will put two uh, markers uh, first one is at the beginning of the array and the second one at the end of the array so what i will do is that and uh, let's name them l and r left and right okay so first i will see the sum okay 1 plus 12 what is it it is 13 so it means that okay 13 is greater than uh, 8 so i should do something what should i do should i shift the left one uh, towards the right uh, no because it won't solve the problem it will again increase the sum uh, so earlier it was 1 plus 12 then it will be 12 plus uh, 2 plus 12 so it will keep on increasing the s uh, that's not what we want we want to reduce the s so to reduce the sum what i will do is that i will move the right one towards here now i will check the sum again so sum will be 1 plus 7 uh, that's our answer uh, let's assume that this was not 7 let's say this was 9 okay uh, in this case it is going to be 1 plus 9 it is equal to 10 again I see that okay the sum is more than 8 uh, what should I do I should sh uh, go towards left now the sum is 1 plus 5 it is equal to 6 it is less than 8 what should I do should I reduce the right index uh, further but then i will always keep on getting this number will keep on getting small one plus four is equal to five so this is not what i want uh, so what i will do is that i will shift the left index okay now my sum will be two plus five it is equal to seven mm, we have we still haven't reached our goal eight so uh, what i will do is that i will shift it again now three plus five is equal to eight this is our uh, result case so what have we learned from this we have learned that if the sum is greater than the target then shift the right index towards left and if the sum is less than the target then shift the l towards the right so this is the approach uh, i think it is not very difficult but if you are solving uh, for the first time uh, so when i was in third year of my college i started coding I'm from non uh, I'm not from a computer science uh, background uh, but uh, it took me a while to figure this out and let's solve this problem uh, I mean let's code this problem so first things first uh, so here uh, 
we didn't use any extra space we only use two variables and it is uh, we are achieving our goal in big o of n time okay now let's uh, make our result vector int res and we will return this result return res now our let's make our uh, these pointers int l is equal to 0 this is going to be 0 and int r is equal to what let's make this nums it is easier to type nums dot size minus 1 so this is the left and right pointer now I will write a while loop while L is less than R I will keep on doing the thing that I explained you on the whiteboard so let's make the sum in sum is equal to what nums L plus nums R okay so our first case is going to be if sum is equal to target this is what we want in this case I will push underscore back L and let's copy this or so this is a uh, end if we find our answer we will break now our second case can be else if sum is less than target then do what then we will sum is less so we will move the left pointer and else if sum is greater than the target then we will move the right pointer towards left so that's the solution let's compile our code oops something is wrong what is it okay one thing uh, it is saying that it is added by one in uh, the one it is one indexed so if the answer is zero one you have to return one and two so that's we will add one to our final answer and then again we will compile uh, when I was compiling it for the first time I did this mistake and now while making the video again I'm doing this mistake but yes so it gets accepted so please do like the video if you have been here till now and do subscribe the channel so thank you and have a nice day